Oh, that those stairs that he runs down and starts doing the dance um, has now turned into a tourist spot, which is fucking insane, right? Because <laughs> it's not even the most. Even the the movie makes it look shit. It looks really like stark and bleak, and he whenever he's walking up the stairs, there's, there's hardly anyone walking down it, and he's having to trace up all these stairs, so it's fucking horrible. But um, it looks even worse in real life. It looks fucking long. The longest stairs you've seen in your entire life, right? And it's the kind of stairs that you have to go up on because there's no other way to get from where you are to where it is up there. Like, they've purposely been put there to, in order to kind of help the local community, but it's an absolute scourge on everyone's life, isn't it? Um, and uh, they turn it into, like, a fucking tourist spot. And here it is here, right? I saw, I saw this fucking thread on Twitter, which is absolutely nuts. <clears throat> Actually, uh, a post on, sorry, a post on Vulture has kind of rounded out, but this is absolutely crazy. So Vulture has it here, an article says, uh, an afternoon at the Joker Stairs, New York's newest tourist attraction. And the article says the following. Um, when when the Location Managers Guild hands out its annual awards next year, they may have to hard time overlooking Joker. For the film's gritty kitchen sink depiction of Gotham City, director Todd Phillips skewed um, sound stages preferring real locations in Brooklyn. Oh yeah, that was a really good thing he did too. I think I watched a video of his on Rolling Stone where he kind of broke down every scene bit by bit and how little of the scenes in Joker were CGI. Most of them were real scenes with just the background sort of filled in to make sure it kind of matches the, the era he was kind of going for. Um, in particular, the latter is a, a, back to article, in particular, the latter is a home to a steep outdoor staircase where Joaquin Phoenix Joker celebrates his descent into villainy with a limb falling, crouch thrusting dance is set to Gary Glitter's Rock and Roll Part 2. It's a scene that carries real cinematic power, which means it's almost instantaneously turned into a meme. The Gary Glitter thing was a bit of a risky move too, isn't it? Because obviously he's in prison for, you know, sexually assault in kids isn't it? i'm pretty sure he's, he's on a sexual sexual um the child sex offenders list aka he's a nun so imagine using that movie i didn't even realize it at the time but when i when i checked the soundtrack i was like oh shit i don't know how they got away with that one i think maybe people were too outraged about the insult um undertones to kind of you know really keep an eye on that one but that's probably more egregious than the you know than the supposed incel vibe the film gives off because you know guy glitter's got a fucking rap sheet on him like to say the least Anyway, it continues. Um, it's a scene that carries real cinematic power, which means it's almost instantaneously turned into a meme. Now visitors have found the real steps and they are started showing up in their droves. On weekends, crowds began arriving and this unassuming corner of the Bronx has early as 9 o'clock in the morning. On the sunny October Sunday, the stairs, which are located in the Shakespeare Avenue of Highbridge, right? Which if you know, if you're familiar with rappers, you know that Highbridge is home to Don Q and A Boogie. So not the most, you know... Um, tourist friendly spots if you've seen any of their entourages uh, it continues here many film locations look less grand in real life but the joker's steps remain as imposing as they do on, on screen looming over the bodegas of jerome avenue with their narrow vertical orientation the stairs are perfectly suited for the age of instagram story they're new for oh yeah because it's because it's perfectly vertical and it's really steep too so you can probably get it you can probably get a whole shot of the, the bottom to the top of the stairs in one square instagram post um blah 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 Instagram story, da, da, da. they're just a short few weeks, a short walk away from the 17th Street 4 station, itself only one step away from the Yankee Stadium. If you're in the sociological mood, you could say that the influx of tourists serves as a reminder of how self-enforcing cycles of low crime and gentrification, as well as certain internet-enabled frictionless, the stairs have been say, uh, tagged in Google Maps, have combined to break down notions of which urban neighborhoods are off-limits to newcomers. Instagram makes flaneurs of us all. But imagine that. Look at this. There's an image here on Instagram of some... It looks like a Japanese dude at the bottom of the stairs. I'm not sure if it's Japanese or Chinese. And the caption says the following. I'm pretty sure I must be the first Asian YouTuber to visit here. LOL. Look at the lovely Joker at the Joker stairs at Bronx. <laughs> and he's written in another language too. Must be Russian or something. That's pretty cool there. Someone someone came dressed up in a Joker outfit, which is fucking bizarre. Imagine going up with your bodega shopping, going over to your apartment and having to see all these absolute numb nuts going to a tourist destination and doing all this stuff. Like, the kind of person that does this is also the kind of person that asks for a DJ for a request. I guarantee you. Anyone that's willing to go to a location and look at the thing and look at something because it's been in a movie, you are, I don't know, man. I don't know what, you, what you'd call that person, but not my friend. Like, that's for sure. Definitely not my friend. Like, how is that? A thing. Even if I was... Even if I happened to be... Because... Okay. This Asian YouTuber... Obviously, he's a YouTuber. He's probably doing really well for himself. He can travel all over the world. Good on you. Buy a ticket. Go to New... You you know, it's it's not a bad thing to go to New York in the middle of fucking, you know, October and go and hang out on, uh, on the set of The Joker, right? Or at an iconic scene of The Joker. But... 
I don't know. Even if I happened to be in New York and I didn't know about the movie, and I just know happened to be in New York, I didn't know the stairs were there, I wouldn't take a picture of it. I'll just keep it moving. Oh, yeah, cool. Those are the stairs and then go about my day. There's more interesting things to do than be standing at some fucking stairs with, with an outfit on pretending you're in a Joker. That is like some basic bitch behavior, no? Like, not a fan at all. And again, how long is that video? Nine minutes? Two minutes? Four minutes? Hey, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Here I am at the Joker stairs. You can see the stairs behind me right now. Here's people walking by it. Oh, look, there's a girl dressed up like the Joker there. <laughs> so funny, man. These kids these days. Anyway, like and subscribe. It's like, how long can that video be? Like, really, how long can that video be? It's like, it's the stairs from the Joker. Cool. But that's it, no? Bloody hell. Anyway, um, it continues. On their Showtime show Monday night, Jesus and Mira, both of whom grew up in the Bronx, devoted a segment to the stairs with Jesus affecting the persona of a Swiss tourist. Okay, cool. We don't want to read that. But yeah, loads of images of people going to the stairs and sitting on it, which is, and doing their thing. Here's another fucking numb nuts dressed up at the Joker doing it. There's going to be so many Joker outfits in for Halloween too, isn't it? Oh, Halloween, Halloween. God Almighty, one of the worst holidays ever. One of the worst fucking days to party in the world, isn't it? Full of absolute donuts. But yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be horrendous, isn't it? Everyone dressed up as a Joker. But ugh, people, are, there's so many basic bitches in the world, and it's just like men and women, man. Like, ugh. yeah. So Todd Phillips did, did a good thing. He created a cultural moment, and cultural moments are is a, a meme moment might be more has has more weight to it an actual cultural moment. Maybe in this generation, it might be it might have more press, it might have more weight to it. You know what I mean? You can share it online. You can tag your friends in it. Geolocation. But yeah, well done to Todd Phillips and the team. They smashed it. Joker movie is incredible. So much so I might go watch it again if I don't watch Ad Astra first. Um, but yeah, great movie. Great fucking movie, man. And again, made me question a lot of things. Whether or not we had that ability to kind of tap into that villainy and insanity within ourselves. And whether or not, you know, kids can grow up. Kids are born evil or just grow up to be evil. Or grow up to be bad kids, let's say. For lack of a better term. Bad kids is probably a better term. Evil, you know, probably has a lot more weight to it. Um... Uh, baggage or whatever it may be but yeah um check it out man joker's out at the moment if you haven't watched it i don't know what you're doing get on board jump on it get on board get on board